What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we're going to be talking about which Michigan football players are emerging in spring camp and which players stand out to other Michigan players. We're also going to be going over what Michigan players said to the media. And we're also going to end the video talking about where Jim Harbaugh stands in the rankings compared to other college football head coaches. It's all going to be in this video, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, just before we go ahead and dive into everything, make sure you guys go ahead, leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe for more if you are new around here. I greatly appreciate it. But let's go ahead and start with what Roman Wilson, Michigan's wide receiver, what he had to say. Both uh, Roman Wilson and Cornelius Johnson, the two veteran wide receivers coming back next year for the Wolverines. First off, Roman Wilson said that for us to be able to replace Ronnie, I feel it's like it's going to be hard he said i'm not going to say it's going to be hard to replace him but it's going to be hard to to do the things that he did on the field consistently then he talked about samaj morgan and frederick moore who are both freshmen this year he said that fred and samaj are really good additions to our team being young guys and as far along as they are i think they're both really good he also talked about tyler morris and darius clemens two sophomores next season he said they look really good and he thinks that the wide receiver room is in really good hands saying that they look good speaking about uh, darius clemens uh, he just talked about his work ethic. He said to see him working out by himself. He said, and for him to be as strong as he is in the weight room, it's pretty shocking. He's a pretty strong guy. And I concluded it by saying, I think he's going to shock a lot of people when he gets his opportunity this year. Also talking about Tyler Morris, he said he looks like a well-seasoned guy. He's playing really well. He looks good. And he said he almost looks like a vet out there. Uh, and he said, so I'm happy for him. Michigan definitely has playmakers at the wide receiver position. Tyler Morris and Darius Clemens are two wide receivers to keep an eye on next season as they look to emerge next season as go-to wide receivers along with Cornelius Johnson and Roman Wilson. Darius Clemens is obviously the bigger wide receiver. He's six foot three, uh, 214 pounder. He has a lot of great skill. Can't wait to see him next season. Mike Samaristo also had something to say about the wide receivers. He said the young guys, I think they're doing really well. Samaj Morgan and Fred Moore, they're really looking good. Tyler Morris is doing really good. And Darius Clements, he's doing good. And he said the receivers are in a good spot right now. I also want to talk about... Uh, Mike Samristil and his switch to the defensive side. He's a team player for sure. Um, he said, wherever the coaches want me is where I'll be. He said, it's about just helping the team succeed in whatever spot I'm in. They've been moving me around a little bit from nickel to corner. So wherever they want me and wherever they need me the most is what I'll do. He's obviously a team player. He will play wherever. He's a very good defensive player. Uh, I mean, he has shined at the cornerback spot and at nickel. Um, can't wait to see what he does on the defensive side next year. And I'm also very uh, intrigued to see a Morion Walker as he seems to be the other cornerback beside Will Johnson who will be the cornerback next season. Jim Harbaugh making another wide receiver two cornerback switch. It'll be very interesting to see how Morion Walker does on the defensive side. He's definitely got uh, all the tools he needs to be a cornerback. And then real quick here, just want to mention in this video that Michigan's spring uh, spring game, Mays vs. Blue spring game, will be at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on April 1st at the Big House. Uh, I believe it should be free to get in. So if you guys want to plan uh, and go watch the Michigan Spring Spring Game, Mays vs. Blue Spring Game, it'll be April 1st at 3 p.m. Eastern Time at the Big House. Always a fun time, especially to see you know how players are doing and just how the team looks before the regular season. But the next thing I want to talk about is some linebackers and the linebacker competition. Michael Barra actually spoke about the linebacker competition. He said, I feel like it's different here with the guys uh, because I don't think we look at it negatively. He said, you never know the adversities you're going to face, but you are defined by how you react to it. He said, so I feel like just in a room, I'd say for the past couple of years, we just kind of look at it as competition, look at it as a way to better ourselves, better for our group. He said, we're always teaching each other, coaching each other up. He said, uh, they're never looking at it like, oh, he's going to take my spot, so let me get away from him. He said, it's always love. He said, everyone is just 
just there for each other. He also uh, spoke about Nebraska transfer and incoming sophomore Ernest Hosman. He said just his natural athletic ability. He's fast, smart, and can move. He said just how fast he's learning the defense coming along with our guys, blending in, meshing together well with everyone. He said he's going to be a great player. And then also uh, Nakaiho Green I want to talk about. He missed 2022 due to a lingering soft tissue injury and Junior Colson spoke on Monday saying it's phenomenal having him back. He's a great leader. He's a great guy to be on the field with and he just understands and knows how to play football. He's a football player. He said having him back is a huge addition. He said he brings a lot of depth and experience and talent to our team. He also spoke about Jimmy Rolder and Micah Pollard to young linebackers on the depth chart he said both of those guys they follow him a little bit and i said it's kind of fun being the older guy now a bit he also said that jimmy is coming into his own a lot now and so is micah he said you can just tell they're going to be tremendous players there's no doubt the linebacker room is definitely stacked you have junior colson nikai hill green coming back ernest hosman michael barrett and you also have sophomores out of jimmy rolder and micah pollard might be one of the best linebacker rooms in the country. Uh, Junior Colson also met with the media along with Braden McGregor and Carson Barnhart. Uh, but away from the linebacker room, Colson said about Michigan's next season and the goals that they have. He said next step is to be the best. Next step is to be the best out there. Also talking about himself, he said the next step is to be an All-American. Next step is to take my game to a whole nother level. Then Braden McGregor uh, also ready for his new opportunity next season as an edge rusher. When asked about the difference uh, for this spring camp compared to previous, he said everything. He said he's excited for the opportunity. He also said that every year we are getting better. Uh, and, you know, all the players have the same uh, goal on their mind. Carson Barnhart also stated that we are all here to win a natty. We are not here to go win a Big Ten championship game. He said, I mean, we are, but at the end of the day, we want to win a natty and everybody wants to be great. He spoke about Mike Sanders still him coming back. He said he wants to win a natty. Uh, and he has said, we all want that. He said they all want to leave a legacy here. So that's what some couple of Michigan football players said to the media. And then the last thing I want to talk about is Jim Harbaugh. Obviously, he's taken Michigan uh, to back-to-back -back Big Ten championships, back-to-back -back playoff appearances, and the Athletics, Bruce Feldman and Stuart Mandel released both of their rankings for college football head coaches heading into the 2023 season. Feldman had uh, Jim Harbaugh at number four behind Alabama Nick Saban, Georgia's Kirby Smart, and Clemson's Dabo Sweeney. Mandel, uh, he, uh, he also had Jim Harbaugh at number six behind Saban, Smart, Sweeney, and then also LSU's Brian Kelly and USC's Lincoln Riley. So on both of the, those lists, Jim Harbaugh is ranked as the best Big Ten head coach. And uh, I mean, he should. He won back-to-back -back Big Ten championships. Just got to get over one last hump to win the national championship. That's what this all these players are coming back to do next season. But uh, with that, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If it did, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like. Also, comment down below and subscribe for more if you are new around here. I greatly appreciate it. And other than that, hope you all have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.